Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us humbly call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading 
from the second book of Samuel. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, Lord God, and who are the members of my house that you have brought me to this point? Yet, even this, you see as too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. This too you have shown to man, Lord God. You have established for yourself your people Israel as yours forever. And you, Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, confirm for all time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house, and do as you have promised. Your name will be forever great when men say, The Lord of hosts is God of Israel. And the house of your servant David stands firm before you. It is you, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who said in a revelation to your servant, I will build a house for you. Therefore, your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you. And now, Lord God, your God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then bless the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised. And by your blessing, the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Lord, remember David and all his anxious care, how he swore an oath to the Lord vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons, too, forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Please all stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except, what, except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, we heard a prayer uttered by David the king. He said, Do bless the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. By house, David does not refer to the physical structure. By house, David refers to his family and to his whole lineage. And so David asks God to bless his family and those who will come from his line so that all of them be faithful and obedient to the Lord that all of them may always be worthy to stand before the Lord. Do bless the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. What a beautiful prayer. David did not ask more wealth, more power, more prestige for his family. David did not ask that his sons may keep the kingdom to themselves forever. Hindi niya hiniling na sana kami lang ang maghari, ang pamilya lang namin ang maghari habang buhay. Hindi niya hiniling na ang kanilang pamilya ay maging mayaman pa, makapangyarihan pa, mas kilala at masikat pa. David prayed for faith. David prayed for the fidelity of his family. David prayed that his family may always listen to God and obey God. David prayed that his family will always be pleasing to God. My dear brothers and sisters, like David, we also pray for our families. But what do you ask God for your family? Kapag ipinagdarasal mo ang iyong pamilya, ano ba ang hinihingi mo sa Diyos para sa iyong pamilya? Do you just ask God for the safety, the security of your family? Do you just pray to God that you may have a good life and a good future? Do you just pray for riches, money, power, 
prestige, fame for your family? Do you just ask God for things of this world for your family? Do you pray for your family's faith? Do you pray that your family may be faithful to God? Ipinagdarasal ba natin na sana ang pamilya ko maging mabubuting mga tao, maging mababait, maging tapat sa Diyos, maging masunurin sa kalooban ng Diyos? Ipinagdarasal ba natin na tayo'y maging pamilya ng mga banal, na sana kaming pamilya ay maging pamilya ng mga santo at santa? In our gospel today, Jesus warns us to take care what you hear. Mag-iingat kung kanino nakikinig at kung ano ang pinakikinggan. Do we pray that our families may always listen only to the truth of God and not to the lies of this world? Do we pray that we may always follow the will of God? Ipinagdarasal ba natin na sana sa pamilya natin ang pinakikinggan ay hindi lamang yung tatay o yung nanay o yung anak, kundi ang pinakikinggan ay ang kalooban ng Diyos. Ipinagdarasal ba natin na sana sa ating pamilya ang Diyos ay nasa sentro at ang buong buhay natin bilang pamilya ay umiikot sa kalooban ng Diyos. Do we pray that our families may always be pleasing in the sight of God? My dear brothers and sisters, let us not just pray for our personal, our own families. Let us also pray for the family of our country, the family of nations, the family of the whole world. Like David, let us also pray to God. Do bless our families, Lord, that we may always be pleasing before you forever. This, my dear brothers and sisters, is the best prayer we could ask God for our families. Please all stand. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our vocation to become light of the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, the people of God, may become a great light shining in the darkness of this world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders of the world may bring rays of hope in the lives of those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christians may be like light on a mountain top, guiding people in their journey to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick the old and the neglected may continue to hope because of the light shone by those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That eternal light may shine on our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, 
Give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of our brothers and sisters so that we may let your light shine toward all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, cut me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
อามนAnd the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The mass is ended. Thanks be to God.